Good morning. Today is Thursday, May 28th, and we have been uh, reading Ruby the Copycat by Peggy Rathman. And I'm going to read it again today before we do our writing, and I want you to think about some things. Why do you think Ruby kept copying Angela? We kind of talked about this a little bit when we first started reading on Tuesday. But why do you think Ruby keeps copying Angela? Usually, when people copy us, it's because they like you a lot and they don't know what else to do. So if they copy you, the reason Ruby might be copying Angela is because she really likes her. She wants to be friends with her. But she doesn't quite know how yet. What could Angela have done instead of getting upset with Ruby? Because in the book, we know that Angela starts to get a little annoyed. And she kind of writes that mean little note to Ruby. Well, what could she have done instead? She might have asked nicely, hey, could you stop copying me? Or, you know, it makes me feel really sad or upset when you copy me. And I get frustrated. So maybe she could have been a little bit nicer. But I'm going to read it to you again, and then we'll work on our writing. And today we're going to try to make connections. Good readers make connections when they read. I want you to think in your head of a time that somebody was copying you and how it made you feel. So we'll talk about that at the very end. I'm going to go ahead and get our book pulled up here just one second. Here we go, Ruby the Copycat. Monday was Ruby's first day in Miss Hart's class. Class, this is Ruby, announced Miss Hart. Ruby, you may use the empty desk behind Angela. Angela is the girl with the pretty red bow in her hair. Angela smiled at Ruby. Ruby smiled at Angela's bow and tiptoed to her seat. I hope everyone had a pleasant weekend, said Miss Hart. Does anyone have something to share? I was the flower girl at my sister's wedding, said Angela. That's exciting, said Miss Hart. Ruby raised her hand halfway. I was the flower girl at my sister's wedding too. What a coincidence, said Miss Hart. Angela turned and smiled at Ruby. Ruby smiled at the top of Angela's head. Class, please take out your reading books, said Miss Hart. At lunchtime, Ruby hopped all the way home on one foot. When Ruby came back to school, she was wearing a red bow in her hair. She slid into her seat behind Angela. I like your bow, whispered Angela. I like yours too, whispered Ruby. Class, please take out your math books, said Miss Hart. On Tuesday morning, Angela wore a sweater with daisies on it. At lunchtime, Ruby hopped home sideways. When Ruby came back to school after lunch, she was wearing a sweater with daisies on it. I like your sweater, whispered Angela. I like yours too, whispered Ruby. I want you to pause one minute right here. Can you take a close look at Ruby's sweater? Oh, I was trying to make it. A little bigger here, but I don't think it's going to let me. What's on Ruby's sweater? Look very closely. Can you see it? To me, I can see some pins. So I don't think that Ruby actually had a sweater with flowers. I think she went home and made it. Because we know that she loves Angela and she wants to be just like her. On Wednesday, Angela wore a hand-painted t-shirt with matching sneakers. After lunch, Ruby hopped back to school wearing a hand-painted t-shirt with matching sneakers. Why are you sitting like that, whispered Angela. Wet paint, said Ruby. Why did she have wet paint? Yeah, because she just went home and she made it. She didn't have a painted t-shirt. She just went home and made it just to be just like Angela. On Thursday morning during share time, Angela modeled the flower girl dress she wore at her sister's wedding. Ruby modeled her flower girl dress too, right after lunch. Angela didn't whisper anything. Let's see if I can fix this. I'm not quite sure what I did here. By coincidence, on Friday morning, both girls wore red and lavender striped dresses. At lunchtime, Angela raced home. 
when Angela came back to school, she was wearing black. Why do you think Angela went home to change? I think Angela went home to change because she did not like looking just like Ruby every day. She wanted to be herself. So I think she was starting to get tired of getting copied. On Friday afternoon, Miss Hart asked everyone to write a short poem. Who would like to read first, asked Miss Hart. Angela raised her hand. She stood by her desk and read, I had a cat I could not see because it stayed in back of me. It was a very loyal pet. It's sad we never really met. That was very good, said Miss Hart. Now who's next? Miss Hart looked around the room. Ruby? So is Angela talking about a real cat that she could not see? No, she's talking about the copycat. I'm gonna read Angela's poem to you one more time. I had a cat I could not see because it stayed a back of me. It was a very loyal pet. It's sad we never really met because Ruby's sitting behind her and she is copying everything. And then we have Ruby's poem. Ruby stood and recited slowly. I had a nice pet who I never met because it always stayed behind me and I'm sure it was a cat too. Ruby smiled at the back of Angela's head. Someone whispered. Ruby sat down. What a coincidence, murmured Miss Hart. Angela scribbled something on a piece of paper. She passed it to Ruby. The note said, you copy me. I'm telling Miss Hart. P.S. I hate your hair that way. Ruby buried her chin in the collar of her blouse. A big tear rolled down her nose and plopped onto the note. When the bell rang, Miss Hart sent everyone home, except Ruby. Miss Hart closed the door of the schoolroom and sat on the edge of Ruby's desk. Ruby, dear, she said gently, you don't need to copy everything Angela does. You can be anything you wanna be, but be Ruby first. I like Ruby. Miss Hart smiled at Ruby. Ruby smiled at Miss Hart's beautiful polished fingernails. Have a nice weekend, said Miss Hart. Have a nice weekend, said Ruby. On Monday morning, Miss Hart said, I hope everyone had a pleasant weekend. I did, I went to the opera. Miss Hart looked around the room. Does anyone have something to share? Ruby waved her hand. Glued to every finger was a pink plastic fingernail. Why do you think Ruby did that? Now she's copying Miss Hart. She didn't quite understand Miss Hart's message that she should be herself yet. I went to the opera too, said Ruby. She did not, whispered Angela. Miss Hart folded her hands and looked very serious. Ruby, dear, said Miss Hart gently. Did you do anything else this weekend? Ruby peeled off a finger now. I hopped, said Ruby. The class giggled. Ruby's ears turned red. But I did. I hopped around the picnic table 10 times. Ruby looked around the room. Watch. Ruby sprang from her desk. She hopped forward. She hopped backward. She hopped sideways with both eyes shut. The class cheered and clapped their hands to the beat of Ruby's feet. Ruby was the best hopper they had ever seen. Miss Hart turned on the tape player and said, follow the leader, do the Ruby hop. So Ruby led the class around the room while everyone copied her. And at noon, Ruby and Angela hopped home for lunch. The end. So I hope you like that book. I think it's a very fun one. And today in our writing, we're gonna think about a connection to the book, which means that we're gonna think about how our lives are similar to the characters in the book. So let me get our worksheet pulled up and then we'll do our writing. Our writing today says, readers make connections. Ruby liked to copy Angela. Have you ever had someone copy you? How did it make you feel? When I was a kid, my brother used to copy me all the time because that's just usually what little kids do. 
when they don't know what else to do and they like you. And it would make me mad. So I drew my brother, I drew me, Mrs. Tattlebaum, and I put a setting in my picture so that you can see where we're standing. We're outside. I drew the sun, I drew a cloud. Your picture might look a little bit different, but I wanna write the sentence, my brother would copy me and it would make me mad. Well, that's a lot of words, but we can do it. My brother would copy me. Let's start that. My brother would copy me. It's five words. I'm gonna get my lines out. My brother would copy me. Let's start there. My, my is a sight word. Use your word wall to help you. My starts with the mm, M, Y. My brother. Well, you can see I wrote the word up here, but it starts with a b, 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 r. My brother. And the rest of that word is right here. I already spelled it for you. B-R-O-T-H-E-R. My brother would. Now, this is not wood like wood that you would make something out of. This is a wood, the sight word wood. So I think that's going to be a first grade sight word. But you might already have it on your word wall. If not, we'll write it together. What starts with a W. Oh, let me get my paper fixed here. O U L D. My brother would copy. Well, the word copy comes up a few times and you can always kind of re reference back to the question, which means look back at the question. We see they wrote the word copy a few times. So you can write that word copy right here. My brother would copy me. You know how to write me. That's another sight word. Mm. Um, E, and that was a lot of writing. If you need to pause the video, do that so that you can get all the writing in. My brother would copy me and it would make me mad. And it would make me mad. Ooh, six more lines. We can do this. And it would make me mad. Six more lines. And you should know how to write the word and. We've spelled that a few times. And is this a sight word as well? A N D. And it, another sight word, it. I, T, and it would, well, we already wrote that once, remember? We wrote it over here. So you just have to write that word again. W, O, U, L, D. My brother would copy me and it would make Make mm, M A make K. Okay, you hear the long A sound, so you need a sneaky E. And it would make me, you know that say word again, mad. We can spell the word mad. Mm. A D M A D. 
Am I done? Nope, I need my period at the very end of my sentence. My brother would copy me and it would make me mad. And your sentence doesn't have to be just like mine. You can think of something else that um, if someone else copied you or maybe it didn't make you mad. Maybe you liked being copied. You write what happened to you. And that's all we're going to do on this for today. We'll do more tomorrow. Bye.